All right, so I wanted to uh, just take a few moments and show a few new things that I picked up, uh, starting with this cologne. This is um, Versace, the Dreamer, Versace, whatever, I don't care. I got it from TJ Maxx, and you can sometimes find, or I might have got this one from Marshalls, actually, but you can sometimes find things that, um, you know, like some decent colognes and stuff at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you might have to dig. They have some cheap stuff too, which I've tried and I, you tend to get what you pay for. Basically, there are a few colognes that are um, like not super expensive that can, that are really good, that can kind of hold their own, which maybe I'll talk more about those in some different videos. But anyway, this one, um, this one isn't like super expensive or anything, but it's a little bit more of a higher end, I guess. Anyway, I used this when I was either in high school or shortly out of high school. And so, you know, they say smells bring back memories. So, um, I have more than just colognes, but I'm just going to go through these colognes real quick here. So I got a prescription, not prescription, subscription to Scentbird and, um, let me do this. It's hard to do this with one hand. So this was how my first one came. Um, this is Scentbird. Um, well, Scentburn is the monthly subscription service. This is this cologne is Prada Luna Rosa. Um, this smells so good. Um, this was my first one that I got, and basically, if you haven't seen these before, these little tubes uh, comes in like that. Then you twist it, and you can spray it. This one's empty because I've used it all up. This is one of my one of my favorite colognes. Um, you know, that I really like. So I am, um, I think I'm actually going to probably order the full bottle, but I might order it from fragrance net. Cause I think you might be able to get it for a little bit less. Uh, anyway. Um, so I got that. That was my first subscription. And then my second subscription from Scentbird just came the other day. This is Clinique happy for men. And it came. So the first one came with this case, but the second one came in just this cardboard case right here. I have it on backwards. Okay, I don't want to mess with it, but it came in just this cardboard case and you can, you know, switch it out. You can buy these cases on Amazon too, which I plan to do. You can even get extra ones from Scentbird, which I might do that as well. Um, I had a friend when I was, I was in high school. I was like 16, maybe 17. I think I was like 16 and he was like, 20 21 something like that maybe maybe just 20 and you know when you're like my cat's coming over leo hang on a second buddy hey i love you but you gotta go over there dude um what was i saying yeah you know when you're like that age um you know you think that you know 20 is just like so old but anyway i remember he always he said that he wore this or he always like had a certain smell to him and i'm like what cologne are you wearing he's like clinique happy and um, anyway, I don't think this is what he was wearing because it doesn't smell exactly like he smelled, but different things smell different on different people. Last of the clones. This is actually from FragranceNet just because I really wanted to smell this fragrance again. This is Armani Code. Um, I wore this in high school or shortly after high school and that scent, I love that scent, but this, um, sorry, my hair's like in the way, <laughs> um, this cologne doesn't it smells like the one that I had but it doesn't give me that exact same feeling so I don't know if it's like slightly old I don't think it is or maybe it's just different than what I remember but I was like looking for that same feeling you know what I mean like that's kind of why I buy this stuff um anyway let me go on to some uh clothing items let me start with shoes I got one pair of shoes to show to show you here um these are a pair of I guess you would say loafers they're from Nordstrom Rack and I I really like them a lot uh, I had a pair um, they're 60 bucks but I actually got them for um, like $20 off so I got them for like 40 something or whatever you know after tax so that's a pretty good deal I feel like but I got these from Nordstrom Rack and I had a pair of I'm gonna try not to take too long a pair of black loafers that were like so similar to this like so similar these are maybe a little bit a little bit nicer slightly but uh, i wore those black loafers all the time and they weren't like the most expensive kind and actually since buying those first pair that first pair of black loafers i had purchased 
a few other pair of loafers kind of thinking, oh, well, if I like the black ones, I'll like the other ones. I even purchased like a nicer, you know, like a, like a Cole Haan pair or something like that, like all leather thinking, oh, well, this will be like really nice. And I don't like those as much as I like the original black ones, but these are so similar to the first pair of black ones that I had. They're in a different color, but I'm really into this color right now. Uh, so anyway, I'm excited about these loafers as well. All right, so move on to some other things here. I'm gonna start with the thing on the bottom of the pile. So I picked up some Kappa shorts, all right? Kappa shorts, if you can see. And I've never bought anything from this brand before, but I don't know, I kind of like the vibe of this brand. I really don't know much about it, but anyway. Let me do this, actually. These fit really well, too. Like, they fit for a guy, in my opinion. Like, the way these fit me, like, they just, they fit so well like they're not you know super tight obviously like they're you know like a good fit for a guy but they're not like super um super baggy either they're just they're like the right amount of baggy but they're kind of fitted where you want it to be fitted i guess i don't know it sounds kind of trite but anyway um let's do this other pair of shorts right here this is i think this is ben sherman um I don't always go for this color, but apparently sometimes I do. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like it, but, um, you know, anyway. So this is Ben Sherman. Yeah, just a pair of pair of shorts. These fit pretty well also. I got both pair of shorts in a size medium. And then this is probably, let's do, this is like the most expensive thing here. This is a John Varvados t-shirt. Okay, I got it in a size medium. I got it um, also at Nordstrom Rack on clearance for, I don't know if you can see it, but it was like 60 something dollars. Usually I don't spend that much on just a t-shirt, but I don't know, I, I, I really liked it and I feel like I'm kind of going through clothes now and I actually am kind of not getting rid of everything, but I am trying to get rid of a lot of my clothes because I have like too much and I don't want a bunch of like cheap stuff I guess um now my phone case is in the way anyway um I don't know not that this is like the most expensive thing in the world but it's nice like it fits nice I don't know it's kind of hard to see just on the floor right now and then last item this is a long sleeve t-shirt this is from the brand Zell, um, you can see it kind of has some ribbing in the front, which is kind of cool, as does the John Vervedos, and I kind of like that. the The John Vervedos T-shirt is kind of thin, and I kind of like that about it because, like, I wear, I I always have on two chains pretty much all the time. Uh, they're a, either two gold chains or two silver chains, at least. I usually have on chains, and some a lot of times I wear my chains under my shirt. And so when you have like a shirt like the John Vervedos that's kind of thin with the ribbing or something like this, you can kind of see the chains shine through a little bit, which I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, just long sleeve t-shirt. Anyway, it has the thumb holes, if you can see. But yeah, so I wanted to wear this on Friday, except I forgot I had it because I was like trying to keep the tags on to show it. So anyway, that is uh, what I have. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will... See you in my next video.